Back to throw is Wilson. Throws. Touchdown. Throws it back to Young. Young catches the ball. They might. They do score. Throws it. Touchdown. Bounces out of the pocket. Waiting, waiting. Here's the pass. Touchdown. When I grew up, I was, uh, I didn't go away from home very much. So going to college, there were not many places, despite I was recruited a lot of places, there was only one place that I was gonna feel comfortable. That's the truth. And I think that that was the place, BYU was the place that I knew that I could go and, and be comfortable. The summer of my freshman year, they put me as a scout team, and remember I was eighth string, and so coaches just aren't focused on the eighth string quarterback. No one really knew my name, and so I was starting to feel like I should have done something else. This is not working. I called my dad. I said, "Dad, I'm done." You know, one day after gets getting beat up, and I said, "This is crazy. I'm gonna come home." And he had the great quote, "Well, you can quit, but you can't come home." I don't. I'm not living with a quitter, so you can decide for yourself. And I it was like, if he would have said, "Yeah, you know, they're, they're, it hasn't worked out. You know, pack your bags." My bags were already packed. You know, if you talk about the little things that happen that change your life, that was one there because I would have gone home. And I think the coaches never really suspected that I would play quarterback. Well, I was sure of it because Doug, Doug Scoville, who was the offensive coordinator, told me point blank he will never coach a lefty. And Lavelle's like, you can't play quarterback, Steve. You should be, we, we could play you anywhere. And you know, you can go play. And I said, okay. So I actually, for in January, Tom Homo was the defensive captain. And so he was teaching me how to play defensive back. But afterwards, all the quarterbacks would throw and I'd go throw. But the weird thing that had happened Two things. One, I'd watch Jim McMahon throw, and I finally realized how you throw a football. I played high school kind of spinning it out of my hand. I finally realized, no, you throw it out. And once I learned that, I could throw it anywhere, any place. And the other, the other thing that happened is Doug Scoville left. He went to San Diego State, and Ted Toner came in. He saw me throwing, and he went to Laval and said, hey, just give me two weeks. And at the end of two weeks, we'll decide. And that was it. The truth is, um, I started playing, trying to be exactly like Jim McMahon. He was very technically sound as a quarterback. I mean, one of the most technically sound quarterbacks I ever was around. Uh, as much as Joe Montana, but more than most anyone else. And he taught me how to play the position technically. Remember, Jim McMahon left and he had one of the greatest careers in college football in history. And here I come on, and no one still knew my name, right? So. Uh, it was a real transition. I remember we went to Utah at the end of my junior year to win, to win the game to go to the Holiday Bowl. And we'd end up winning the game. And then the snow had started to fall and we were up at Rice Stadium. And I thought, I still get chills in my, when I think about it for myself or what it meant for me to have accomplished something like that with my team and, and done the thing that Jim did, you know, that we, we accomplished and kept the thing going. Missouri had a very, very good defense. I mean, we just hadn't played well. And so we were just trying to scratch out a win. We knew that, you know, to kind of tell the world who we thought we were, we better go finish this off. And so we got down uh, about the 20-yard line, had a timeout, and Norm Chow said to throw the, uh, it was a flea flicker back to the quarterback. And I thought, that's a, I was thinking, that's a good, right? Because this is a tough defense. We didn't even figure out something. I like that one. I just told Eddie, just throw it. I don't care what happens, just turn and throw it. So he did, he turned through it. And I think it was Bobby Bell who was our star linebacker. He saw it and he was, and I don't know how he didn't catch it, but I caught it. And after that, there really wasn't much there. So it was one of those miracle, you know, holiday bowl moments, no question. We knew we'd done something special to win that game.